Hey guys, good afternoon. Back again here at Riverbend Park. This time I am doing a day hike. It's about 12 p.m. right now. My plan is to do about a four hour hike. I'm gonna go two hours in on this trail. It's actually called the Florida Trail. It's the uh, ocean to lake trail, which stretches from uh, Lake Okeechobee all the way to Hope Sound. Um, to complete the whole trail usually takes about like five days or so. I'm just doing a, a small little section of it uh, just to get a feel for it. And it starts in Riverbend Park and then my goal is to hike two hours in and see how far I get. And then, you know, go two hours back to where I started in the um, Riverbend Park. Um, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, I was hoping to start a little bit earlier, but I got a late start. So I just want to make sure I get back before it gets dark and the park closes. Uh, so that's my plan. So at 12 o'clock p.m., goal is to be back here at 4 p.m. So we'll see what we encounter along the way on this trail. Um, Ocean to Lake Florida Trail. So here we are. This is the start. River Bend Park, gonna make our way out of the park and then head east towards Hope Sound. And um, the trail passes through also uh, Kitchen Creek and Jonathan Dickinson State Park. Uh, not sure if I'll be able to get that far, but we'll see. Hope that's the goal. Um, hopefully we do. If not, then, uh, you know, might just have to come back another time and get an earlier start. All right, so let's go. All right, guys, so we officially approached part of the trail to the ocean to Lake Florida Trail. Uh, this is it right here, as you can see. They even got nice signs showing you the way. And they also have the orange blazes, which is what you want to follow when you are doing this trail. So if I go this way here, that's gonna be going towards Lake Okeechobee. And then this way here is towards Hope Sound. So it's the way we want to go right here. All right, guys, so following along the path here, and it takes us under this pretty cool little underpass right here. I think this is uh, Indian Town Road, if I'm not mistaken. So just got to pass under here. Nice cool little area out of the shade. Looks like we got a little friend over here hanging out underneath the bridge. Eating some lunch. I don't know if you can see him, but just a cool looking bird. But uh, here's the path. We're gonna continue along this right here and see where this takes us. So we're entering some new terrain. It's a lot more shaded canopy looking big cypress trees and then you got the orange blaze marking the way and so here we approach it looks like a couple of different spots to go through um, here's that spot or it looks like you can even go through here so I'm guessing it all leads the same way and uh, yeah, I mean, I think I'm gonna take the easy way and go this way here. It's a little bit more muddy though. It's actually very muddy. It's almost like freaking quicksand. Whoa. All right, second thought. Let's backtrack and go the dry route. is over this little step ladder. I'm gonna turn the camera off while I do this here, just to make it a little easier. All right guys, so we made it over this nifty little step ladder over the barbed wire fence. And let's continue on the trail and follow the uh, orange blazes here. 
All right, so it takes us through this little boardwalk that they have in place, which is pretty convenient, nice. I'll have to get all wet. Path looks pretty well maintained. I am hitting a couple little spider webs as I'm walking. But other than that, it looks like a pretty clear path well marked with the orange blazes you can see and well shaded too so that's always a plus here in sunny south florida nice uh warm day it's about it's uh, late in november right now november 24th so uh temperature has started to cool off since the summertime um nice little breeze going on so uh nice uh sunny day not too many clouds out like we'll be getting rain hopefully not never know here in south florida though but overall nice day a little breeze going on and uh not too hot so perfect day for a hike all right guys so we're approaching another boardwalk so very convenient that they have these boardwalks and you don't have to walk through all this uh wet creek area here. So, so far very nice easy trail. Uh, it's kind of right next to this road here right now. This area is a section of it. Um, doesn't really give you the whole feel that you're remote, but you know, it's just a small section. I'm sure it'll, uh, it'll change like maybe now. Looks like we're going to be moving away from the road. And uh, I'm gonna stop real quick here, just to check the GPS system and see how far we got to go and where we're gonna be heading next year. All right guys, so the part that I'm at right now is a little tricky. Uh, wasn't really well marked. So we have two different little trails you can go down. There's one right here and then there's one right here. This one looks like the more maintained trail, but in fact, I don't think that's the one we're supposed to be going on. This is here, and I think we're supposed to be going on this trail, even though it looks more overgrown. Um, I did spot an orange blaze on the tree right here. So my guess is that we're gonna be going down this way, and also it looks like the GPS is taking me down this way as well. A um, little overgrown here though. But um, we'll take this and see where it goes. guys so down the way uh, in this nice little shaded canopy section of the trail very nice and cool here I don't have the Sun be beating down on me a lot of shade very well maintained easy path to walk through very well marked with the orange places on the trees so we're just making our way so it turns out Right over there is actually like a service road, not very well maintained, which is the area that I was actually on before. So kind of missed this little part here and was walking on that, but um, found my way back onto the actual Florida Trail part. So stay here and follow these blazes. Still next to this uh, loud, busy, road right here, Indian Town Road. All right guys, so we approached another area. I'm outside of the, um, the Cypress Canopy section and kind of like in this open field. 
Uh, here's another tricky part because there's a trail that looks like it's uh, maintained that goes out that way. That's actually not the way you need to go. You have to keep going along this fenced area next to the highway, which is on the other side of these uh, uh, shrubs right here. See the cars going over there. You have to keep going along this way, along the fence. You'll see the orange blazes right there. Uh, and this is not, in fact, the way that you need to go. You gotta keep going that way. So we're gonna keep following that path. Let's keep going. And as you can see over here, it's actually not maintained very well. You can hardly even see that there's a path here. Um, might just be because it's not really in season yet for uh, hiking here in South Florida. Um, so I'm not really quite sure, but it doesn't look like it's super maintained that well. A little overgrown. Alright guys, so here we are approaching, uh, this is the Indian Town Bridge right here. So we're going to need to actually cross over the pass and get to the other side and back onto the trail. Uh, that's what we're going to do now. As you can see, nice little sign for the trail users. Busy highway over here. Let's continue on. Nice uh, little kayaker. And we are now on the other side of the bridge. And as you can see, it's very well marked with the orange blazes on where to go. So we just keep following this path right here. And it's gonna veer off back into the wooded uh, canopies, cypress trees, um, which is good. Get back out into the uh, wilderness area. got that side Indian Town Road right on the other side of that is River Bend Park where we started uh, so we're still kind of in the same vicinity uh, and then we're back into some shaded canopy area very nice all right guys had another fork in the road so we got two paths we can go down there's one right here and then there's one right here. There's like some pink uh, bands that someone had tied on these trees. Not really sure where that goes to, but I'm seeing some orange blazes on this side. So my guess is that we're gonna be heading this way through this path. I am gonna check the GPS just to confirm that. But uh, I will say every time I stop, these mosquitoes are swarming on me, so. Um, I did put bug spray on, mosquito repellent, but uh, doesn't seem to be uh, working too well. Uh, there's just so many of them whenever you stop. So uh, I'm gonna try to make this quick, look at my GPS real quick and uh, continue on. So let's go. All right guys, so we have now exited the canopy region of the trail and we're on this another fork um, there's two sections you can go down this section and this section uh, this is actually the way we need to go uh, we have approached some uh, like a little cabin area um, with some sheds uh, there's an orange blaze on that shed and uh, so Mike we're gonna need to go this way looks like there's people using this place so uh, hopefully I can just pass on by without any problems I guess we'll find out and you want. Right, so a little tricky in that part because you don't want to be on that rocky 
sand path. There's actually another little path you take right by the shed. There's an orange blaze next to it, so um, I'm not sure where that would have gone, but definitely not the right way you're supposed to go. And uh, kind of just cut through behind that little shed. Got some more orange blazes here. Looks like we've approached something over here. Not quite sure what all that is. So far this has been a very easy path, uh, trail to take. Uh, not really any obstacles, very well maintained, very well marked. Um, just a few areas here and there that um, you may want to like stop and double check which path to go down. But other than that, it's uh, you know, pretty easy so far. Like uh, got some someone's property on the left here, passing behind. Uh, one thing to point out is um, once we got off that canopy region to where the shed was in that little cabin, uh, um, right where the shed was, there was a uh, uh, water filling station. It looked like so it's a big plus in case you needed water. I personally didn't need any, so um, didn't need to stop for that. Um, but yeah, just something to note. Alright guys, so I'm still walking along this path here. Um, not much has changed. Kind of a boring section, to be honest with you. Um, just got a bunch of shaded area over here. Uh, and then over here on this side, it's a lot of residential uh, property, people's backyards and stuff. So really nothing too exciting. Uh, but I think now we are approaching a section where it kind of veers off back into the wilderness. So uh, we're gonna continue taking this, following these orange blazes. It's uh, starting to head away from these uh, backyards of people. Very easy trail to go on. Uh, very impressed with it. But uh, to be honest with you, hasn't really been too exciting for the most part. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what else we approach. So right now it's about 12.45, so still have about an hour and 15 minutes until I'm gonna make my way back. All right, keep going. Right, guys so here's a pretty cool section of the trail uh, getting into some more shaded region with some canopies um, and also walking along the Loxahatchee River here as you can see um, along these uh, mangrove cypress bluffs that are kind of growing into the uh, along the river so a pretty cool spot nice little water flow I'm gonna be heading over this little bridge area through this creek So it's starting to look a little bit more um, remote and like a wilderness type of feel to it now, uh, which is good. We're gonna continue along, see what else we can find here. All right, looks like we're approaching what is called BZ Creek. The path kind of narrows along this area here. A little more muddy. And it's like they have a nice little bridge to cross to get out of the mud and the water 
Very nice. Pretty cool. That's where we're at. Florida Trail, Ocean Lake. So far it's been great, let's keep going. All right, so we seem to have hit a much more um, piney uh, region of the trail here. Very, a lot more drier than what we've been seeing. Not as muddy. Uh, well, I guess I take that back. Looks like we got some flooding in this part right here. And uh, looks like this is the only way so might be crossing through this here. Let's see how this goes. All right guys, so I made it through that little wetland area. That was uh, kind of flooded. It was about a little above my ankles, uh, probably about shin deep. So got the shoes wet, got the socks wet. Uh, I gotta expect that on this trip though. Uh, I'm gonna continue on and see what else we encounter on our trail. Hopefully my shoes will uh, dry out fairly quickly. All right guys, we're not at a nice little creek area here. Uh, probably a nice spot to fill up on some water if you needed some uh, to filter it out, uh, which we do not need right now. Maybe on the way back, we'll see. But uh, yeah, kind of a cool little spot here. Little creeks running to different sections. You can hear the water flowing, kind of peaceful. Uh, we're gonna continue on this way though. All right guys, so starting to approach another major highway. I think we're gonna be uh, passing under it somewhere around here. This is where the path will take us through, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I need to figure out which way that is that we need to go. Take a look here. Looks like we got uh, two different ways to go. All right, going through another little wet area here. Uh, don't really have a choice, so we're gonna just need to cross this, get our shoes wet again, very briefly. Right onto this bridge. Pretty cool spot. Looks like it's getting uh, pretty wet over here still. A little flooded. But uh, let's keep going. Hopefully it doesn't stay flooded like this for too long.
Okay guys, finally made it to the other side. Pretty tricky part here, getting across. But uh, looks like we found the other part of the trail right over here. So we're gonna continue taking this. Through this way. And uh, hopefully it's a little easier going forward here. So we are literally right next to the highway, which is this right here. Um, got some uh, marshy wetland area on the right, but it's kind of a strange part of the trail. Um, you can hear the cars whizzing by. Um, but I guess this is just where they take us, so we're gonna keep going and uh, you know, see what else comes our way here. Still moving along. It's starting to get very muddy on these trails. Uh, very wet and muddy. Kind of flooded as you can see up there. Uh, the shoes are freaking just ruined in mud. As you can see, it's getting real difficult now to uh, kind of move around in here. Not really able to find any sort of dry area, unfortunately. Alright guys, back on some dry land here, so a nice sandy path out of the muddy swampy area, uh, making our way over still, um, covered about three miles, it's not a whole lot, <laughs> but um, not even sure if I'm going to be able to make it to, hoping to, I was hoping to make it to like some sort of campsite area. that I can just stop and rest at, have a bite to eat and drink. Uh, not even sure if I'm gonna be able to make it that far to one. Uh, it's already about 1.30, so I still got about 30 more minutes until I'm gonna turn around and head back. Uh, but we'll see what we encounter along the way. Hopefully we'll get to some area, like rest area of some sort. So I'm gonna check my GPS, make sure I'm going the right way and uh, continue on. All right, it's a beautiful, little area that we're walking along here kind of like this uh, dune area very dry got these beautiful uh, purple flowers growing along the pathway very nice easy relaxing path really enjoying this section of the trail here gives me some time for my shoes to dry out Alright guys, so I did see a pretty big sized deer uh, just run away from me because he got scared. Gotta be a little careful, you know, it is their territory. Sometimes they do get a little territorial. Um, you know, so just gotta keep an eye out on this spot right here. Guys, going down this narrow, windy path here through these cypress bluffs, um, these palmettos. I think there's a place called Hell's Ditch that we should be approaching soon. Hopefully, we can get there in time. Uh, it's almost two o'clock. It's about 1:45, so 
so I'll try to move along quickly here and then I'm gonna have to uh, turn back around here pretty soon. I think we may have just approached it right here. This is Hell's Ditch is what they call it. So we're gonna have to cross through this. Get to the other side. All right, guys. So it is almost two o'clock. Um, if I wanted to continue down the, the trail, I'd go that way right there. But I'm gonna use this time to take a quick little break to eat something, rehydrate, and then start heading back. So. I'm um, gonna head right over here. It's a little bit more shaded. Just gonna uh, take the pack off my back and uh, rest the legs a little bit. Take a little breather, and then we'll be heading back the way we came from. So, see you in a bit. All right, guys. So it is time for me to head on back. It's past two o'clock. I'm not really going to be doing much filming on the way back since we already saw everything. Um, so I'm going to try to just make it back quick and make less frequent stops. Just kind of blaze right on through back to where we started, back to the car, back to River Bend Park. So uh, that's what we're going to do. If I see anything interesting along the way, I'll definitely try to get it on film. But other than that, uh, just going to kind of breeze on through. So I will see you back to where we started. Let's go. All right, guys, made it back to the car. It's been a long day, a long hike. Pretty tired and uh, gonna call it a day. Um, had a lot of fun out here. Definitely wanna try to make it out further next time. Maybe do like an overnight uh, camping trip uh, through the trails. So I'll definitely be coming back again, um, get an earlier start next time so we can make it out further before it gets dark. All right, well, uh, that's it, and I'll see you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed.